you know, I'm very compassionate about what you've been through. And I want to take some of that burden off of you because I don't think you have bad intent. You know, it's like if somebody runs over your foot by accident, that's different than if somebody purposely runs over and smashes your foot, isn't it? No. Of course that's a different level. Your sister did not intend to cause a crash. She did not intend to put your life in jeopardy or end her own. And to feel like you have to hide that or, or cover that up or fail to acknowledge that is to say that she did something on purpose. You, I don't know your sister, but um, everything I can tell about her, she would never, ever intend to harm you in a meaningful or permanent way. So I have to believe that the reason she had a clump of your hair in her hand is because she was grabbing your hair and yanking it, and then all of a sudden, it got worse than she meant it to be. The truth will set you free, and it begins with the truth. Is that what happened on the highway? It's part of what I do remember. And I do believe that. I do not believe that you have a molecular memory of everything that happened. But I do believe that you know damn well you were under attack at that point. You guys were fighting and you were under attack. I mean, it's part of what I do recall. When you woke up at the bottom of the ravine, what do you recall? I don't remember. I mean, I just remember being like airlifted. Did you know she was dead? Mm -mm. When did you learn that? Way after. When you were in the hospital? Yeah. Your sister didn't have a bad intent, not 1% in her body. She did not mean you ill will. She did not mean herself ill will. There's nothing to be ashamed of for her, and you've already forgiven her. You don't harbor any ill will against her, right? If you could speak to her right now, what would you say to her? tell her that I love her and I would tell her that like I can't believe you left me and like stand by me I'm gonna get through this and I'm going to go back to to transform all of this darkness into a, a period and a place of passion and sharing with others just like the beauty of, of the original what we built together most of the time I still feel like she's like right next to me that's great by the way